And welcome once again to MSTV. I am your host, Joe Pietaro. Once again, this week, we're going to be joined by the lovely ladies of the Lingerie Fighting Championships. The Rob Matters tells us something that really fucked up happened to him in the gym recently. And of course, the rest of our host, the host, we're going to be bringing you some really hot ladies in that beautiful new MSM tank top. Only $14.99, free shipping in the United States. Racer back, made by Bella. So we'll be right back after this quick break and do not go anywhere. How you doing? My name is John Sikoris and this is Sharice Sikoris and we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. have a spectacular entrance but yet I also find mine to be not as flashy but I definitely send a message out there I believe you know I'm not gonna try to be her because I don't want to be her Jenny's entrance was it was all right I mean she tried to be sexy I'm like you have too many muscles girl <laughs> we kind of almost wore the same thing I don't know how that happened but I thought it was fine she's she has a nice body on her what are you wearing why do we kind of look similar? So I didn't like that. <laughs> I was like, I'm wearing a pink bra because I'm on pink tape. I was hoping to tear it off some more in the match, but um, yeah, I, I liked the lingerie more than I liked her. When I realized I was fighting Jenny, I, I started thinking, okay, I need to get bigger and stuff. And then when I, when I saw her, I don't know, I felt ready. I felt ready, I felt strong, I felt fast, I felt quick. There was nothing gonna stop me. I was definitely concerned going to this fight um, with, with Terry's condition that she was in, with her, uh, with her being against a bigger opponent. She's, she's just not made for violence. It's just, she's not. She's too sweet, she's too nice. It's just not for her. There's oh, the big wow. wrestling. Loaded up, Matt Hughes style. Gonna take her for a ride. Picked up into the cage. Oh, but doesn't get her to the ground. Oh, Whoa, that shot to the midsection hurt. Jenny is tough. She is so lady butch, I would be scared to fight her personally. You just have to be quick. If you fight Jenny, you just gotta be quick, 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 cause she's slower. So she's not that fast. So if anyone fights her, like she's all muscle, but she still takes a little bit of time where I'm like, damn, go. All I can say about Jenny's fighting is that at least she fought clean this time. <laughs> I came to charge at her for a takedown. She snagged my arm and just threw me over her like so fast. I didn't have the chance to keep myself grounded. I just flew. After LFC 24, when I saw Terry fight a six foot seven possible nuclear giant, I had no doubts in my mind that she could fight anybody. Hey guys, this is Rob Matters for Biohacker TV. 
I'm doing another episode of Rob Matters Vlog Style. And I just want to update you on the Melatonin 2. I've been taking the Melatonin 2 for a couple of weeks, uh, about three, four times a week, just to, like a 3 IU or a .25. Um, it's been pretty good. I'm tanning. I'm out in the sun today. Get about 10, 15 minutes of sun. That way it uh, works a lot faster. Uh, I'll be at the uh, Anaheim uh, Convention Center at the end of August on the 27th and 28th. Um, at the Metro MD booth, so I wanted to be nice and tan for that day, and well, the melatonin too is the best way and the fastest way to get that tan. Now let's get to the subject at hand. There is a certain demographic of people, I'm not sure who they are because I have not witnessed this event, but there's something strange going on in the showers. Actually, it's quite disgusting. It's probably not what you think. Um, it's happening in the Chino Hills Walnut a Diamond Bar area, uh, Ontario area. I have some friends that work at uh, certain gyms in these areas, and there's been uh, some issues going on. Um, there is a certain demographic of people going in there and taking a, a shit in the shower. Do not do it. Why do we have to have this conversation? It's disgusting. Don't do it. If I catch anybody shit in the shower, I'm gonna make you fucking eat it. Man, that's disgusting. Why the fuck would you do that? Why do I have to have this conversation? That is, who the fuck is doing that? Anyway, that's all I got to say for this video. It's just fucking gross. I don't know why people are shitting in the shower, but they're fucking doing it. Uh, it is no good for anybody. It's fucking not healthy. Go home and shit your own shower. Anyway, this has been Rob Matters for another episode of Rob Matters Vlog Style. And remember, if you ain't hacking that body, you ain't trying to get out there and hack that body. Subscribe down below. There's a link somewhere. Uh, send this video to your friends. And um, look forward to more videos from me. And I may make a video that you like. Until next time. The nose knows that if you get an infection from shooting dirty gear, don't fucking wait till your leg's practically falling off. And don't stay in third world countries for medical care. All right, long story short, we had a fucking blast on, uh, uh, on our Wednesday Instagram Live, uh, LegalSteroids.com presents Gearing Up this past week, and we were talking about the bodybuilder in Thailand. His name is Dan Marquis, a 26-year-old Californian who a couple of years ago moved to Thailand. Not now, that. if you could say one thing to the bodybuilder in Thailand this very moment, what would it be? Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking, here's my fucking 9 millimeter bodybuilding in Thailand. Put it in your mouth. Face the roof, tap. Don't go this way because you might just miss your spinal cord and still be alive. We want you dead in one shot. <laughs> roof of the mouth so it goes through the top of the fucking head, through the brain. <laughs> If the bodybuilder in Thailand called me a pussy, I would feel really bad. I just you know, fucking hop along Kezad each. We're gonna call him. After, after, he ain't even gonna make it out of Colombia. That fucking dick. Why would you go to Colombia? Why would you go to Colombia? Thursday. Do not go to third world countries. Yes, and if you do and you need an operation, don't go to another one. That might probably be even worse. What is he going to become part of the caravan, that asshole? <laughs> He's going to hop all the way from Colombia to fucking Tijuana.
And then fucking Crazy Hawk will see him through the fence and spit on his fucking stump. <laughs> right, Jay? How fucking stupid is this fucking jerk off? He's got to be. Is he a guinea? Because he's probably a dopey guinea. I mean, some, I don't know. He just says, my name is Dan. That's, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at his site right now. It's, it's, it's captivating. It's captivating, this site. Uh, but I want to find uh, Chris Bra. Chris, you got to make a video about the Thailand bodybuilder. <laughs> He's Dan the bodybuilder in Thailand on YouTube. <laughs> Listen to this. He had a surgery that ended up being a failure in Colombia. I am, I, I, I'm beside myself. I am shocked to shit. Dan needs help to save his leg. 12,766 raised of a $30,000 goal. Eat asshole like Lenny and you become immune to bacteria. <laughs> yes, especially Dennis Rodman's asshole in the latest video. This GoFundMe should be for like fucking some lady that has fucking cancer and like 18 kids. Like the little old lady that lived in the shoe. If she had like cunt cancer or something, she deserves a GoFundMe page. <laughs> now, uh, I'm not going to question his decisions on doing all of that and whatever. I don't know what his game is. You figure it out. I don't know. I'm not going to draw any conclusions from that. But I do know that he's fucking uh, did something pretty stupid. Now, um, he he must have noticed something was wrong because he ended up going to the hospital and needing surgery. It cost him 10 grand because he's, you know, he quit his job in California and moved to Thailand. Uh, you know, if you read his thing, he talks about it. he already has a big dick and uh you know, he doesn't, he's, he could be an asshole. He doesn't like authority. I, I did mutiny or something. I'm paraphrasing. His about me page on bodybuilderinthailand.com was hysterical for fucking, and I was like douche chill inducing. It was cringeworthy. It's how fucking, he just sounds like such a jerk, this kid. And um, so now he's in Thailand and he's using their gear. Now, obviously, we know you can get anything you want in Thailand, including like a, you know, chicks with dicks. You know? <laughs> so um, and underage fucking sex partners. Uh, so now this kid gets this surgery, but not in Thailand, mind you. No, not in California. No, not even in Canada. In Colombia. <laughs> He has the balls to put a GoFundMe page up. Um, he, he, he got this real bad infection. They did surgery on him. The infection like burst and it blew open the stitches and all of that. And he's got pictures of this on the GoFundMe along with his little crying video. And um, he already raised, he needs 30 grand because he needs two more surgeries. Now, if the first one was 10 and he got fucking tapped out from that and he needs two more, I'm assuming they're 10 each. Where's the other 10 going? I, I, you know, whatever. I, I could give a fuck because I'm, I'm not even giving him a fucking nickel. But some fucking jerk off gave him $500 if he go to the GoFundMe page. So he's like more than halfway there already, I think, uh, at, the t at the time I'm taping this nose nose. But guys, if you get an infection and or an abscess, you gotta. You can get that from an airborne thing. It doesn't mean that you, it, he could have had dirty gear. It could have just been a fucking bad luck shot. The, the leg's the stupidest place to shoot. It hurts like a fuck. You know, just, just, just if you're ever thinking about it, think, think three times more than twice about it. Use your fucking delta, your fucking butt cheek. You know, come on. You know, the, the fucking quad, eh, it's a fucking bad place. Um, so this fucking Dadrul fucking gets the infection. I don't know. I didn't explain how he ended up in Colombia. I'm alone in Colombia and I'm broke. And, uh, you know, you can find it in your heart. And I got a Johnny Bravo. I got to talk to you. Why are you taking this kid's side? You, I know you, you're up to something. <laughs> I love you, Johnny. You're up to something. Um, uh, uh, and I don't know, man, uh, it, it seems like you, you, you said you're praying for him and you feel bad. For, I don't feel bad for him. I'm, I'm a little bit of a prick. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't feel bad for people that do stupid shit to themselves. Um, and I, I feel bad. I don't know if he, whatever family he has, they should be the ones taking care of him, not strangers. All right. How about you fucking get a job with medical coverage instead of becoming some fucking whatever you are in Thailand? I mean, very, very strange. Read up on the thing. And then the fucking loser guy that he teamed up with or whatever on this other shit. I, I don't know. 
very shady fucking stuff. So, bodybuilder in Thailand, Dan, the nose knows that you're a fucking dunce. And you, you get, in the, get in the caravan, because they're going to keep coming, and have somebody throw your fucking, because you're probably going to lose that leg. So, have somebody throw your gimp ass over the wall. And once you hit pay dirt on the fucking San Diego side of Tijuana, nice. and then... We'll take care of you, and you will even give you prosthetics and shit for nothing like the illegals get everything for free anyway in this fucking country. And you're a citizen. Just pretend you're not, because then you're going to get nothing. Pretend. Make believe you don't speak English. Start talking fucking Thai or whatever fucking language you learned, and make believe you're a fucking foreigner, and change your fingerprints like Ma Barker did. Burn them off. <laughs> oh, my God. What a fucking better <laughs> man. This Muscle Sport Minute is being brought to you by TitanMedicalCenter.com, the title sponsor of Greg Valentino Talking Smack every Wednesday right here on the Muscle Sport TV Network. Guys, ladies, tank tops, $14.99, free shipping in the United States. We got small and medium. You don't want to cover too much on your girl, right? So perfect, the sizing, you don't need a fucking large, trust me. If her tits are fucking huge, it's even better to get her the smaller size. But these are Bella girls love that brand bella it's beautiful thin comfortable material racer back i'm showing you guys some of the maidens wearing them just go to musclesportmag.com slash store great stocking stuffer i will get it out to you right away so you can put it in your lady's stocking and give her a little stuffing for christmas
Welcome back to Greg and Joe TV. Jason Southport. Genova. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Two shows before retirement. High protein, monarch fats, very low sodium, very low sugar. Um, Who's your trainer? He lives in Boat Point and Beach. Oh, okay. Like, literally, I'm a legend. I'm such a big name in the fitness industry. DJ Braun, you're talking about? He's offering me 10 grand. <laughs> Like what's I'm, what's your part in it? But I'm gonna be the very charismatic, funny one. Um, there's gonna be a small scene with Natalie Portman, Brad Pitt, some of the cameos of them. All right. Thank you. Don't Jay. you wish you could have a cheat meal? Without having a cheat meal, let me explain. The guys over at Master Dash Rice have come up with a snack. These rice buddies are amazing. Zero grams trans fat, gluten-free, baked not fried, all with brown rice. My favorite is the pizza flavor for obvious reasons. But it tastes like you got your hands into a big bag of crap chips, but they're good for you and they taste phenomenal. Master-Rice.com
and that'll do it for us this week on MSTV. Thank you, of course, once again to the lovely ladies of the LFC, to the Rob Matters, who's going to be doing some great work with us moving forward, and also to the host of Host, and thank you to the maidens for modeling those beautiful tank tops. Guys, get your girls a fucking MSM Bella Racerback tank top. Go to musclesportmag.com slash store, $14.99, free shipping in the U.S. I will get it out the next day, and you'll get it in time for Christmas to give her a nice stocking stuffer.